welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the new features in the VR graphical objects. These features are available from version 1.1, and I'm choosing to demonstrate them using the Steam VR controllers. But of course, this applies to any type of VR graphical, independent of the selector that you choose. In this scene, in this project, I have included the Steam VR package as well as the VR Easy plugin. I have my SDK checker integration applied and selected and I've created a very simple scene consisting of the camera rig which is a prefile that comes from Steam VR just to be able to uh, use the headset and also to be able to use the controllers. I've already went ahead and pre-configured the controller ride as a touch selector. If you have doubts on how to do this, please check out our video tutorial on touch selector setup. I have created a cube. This is a Unity pre uh, predefined primitive. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do now is add a VR grabbable script to it. And in this way, we already can go ahead and VR object. Now you will notice that we now have a grab highlight color and what this does is it paints the material of the object that you are grabbing while you're grabbing it. This gives a little bit of uh, visual feedback for the users to understand whether they are interacting uh, actively or not with their objects. Uh, let's take a look at how this works. I have my Steam controller, and I uh, uh, grab the object, and as I grab it, you can see how it's color yellow. Right, I let go, and it goes to the basic color that it had pr prior to grabbing. Now you would also notice that now we have a grab type. Before, we used to have a very simple grabable system by which you can move along axis your object, but you cannot rotate the object. This is what we call the slide, and I'll demonstrate the behavior right now. You can see how the object follows my movement, but it does not rotate. Again, we call this slide, and we can select which axis we want, it, uh, we want the object to follow. We can just restrict that one particular axis, and we can see how it only moves through that axis. Now from VREC 1.1, we also included a grab type called drag. In this case, we are using um, Unity's physics engine, and we are using, for those familiar with the physics engine, we are using a joint to literally joint the controller with the object. So it follows as if they were physically connected. So not only the position, but also the rotation is adopted. All right, so that was it for the VR gravel new features presenting VR Easy 1.1. Thank you for watching. Good night.